What's going on, Peter and Ned? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, let's see what's inside my new Peter McKenna Nomadic Luma Care Backpack. You know how it goes. Let's get to it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well and you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. For today's video, I want to talk about what's inside my new Peter McKenna Nomadic Luma Care Backpack. Now guys, I've had this backpack for a little over a month just because I kickstarted it and I really wanted to make a video as soon as I got it. But honestly, I really wanted to do some justice to this backpack, really make a good review on this for the past month of using it. And on light of the actual official release of this backpack, which is about two days ago, I kind of want to do like a wombo combo, kind of like what's inside my camera bag, proc review of this, this actual backpack. So let's get started. First things foremost, the exterior. As you can see, this is the blacked out version of the actual Luma camera backpack. There's multiple colors. There's a green, there's a purplish color, and there's also like an orange color as well. I went with the classic black. It's just super sleek looking. So if I do this kind of rotating axis, as you can see, this backpack is pretty slim. This is an 18 liter version of the camera backpack that's a 25 liter. I absolutely love both the backpacks, but if I had to choose this slimmer profile that has the, basically the same functionality as that everyday 25 liter, honestly, for my everyday basis, this is my go-to bag. With that being said, so there are some things about this exterior that's really nice. If you can see, there's this kind of these loops that you kind of have in the front. And what you could do with these is add these kind of shock cord things that they have and loop it inside. And whether it be like your jacket or maybe like a tripod, which is also kind of nice because if you see at this bottom, it just sticks out. They have this tripod kick thingy that comes kind of flat that comes out where you can rest your tripod inside and just have it there. Or there's obviously a side where you could put your tripod on the side instead of a water bottle, but you gotta stay hydrated. Now, as you kind of look around the bag, there's the top axis, you got the side axis, and then you got the back axis. Now, personally speaking, I don't carry a laptop or an iPad or a tablet or anything, but if you so choose to, if for an everyday purposes, there is access for a laptop and stuff in here, so maybe you have those types of use. I don't. Moving on to the top axis. So what I have in the top axis or the attic, I think sometimes they call it, is my mighty small Fujifilm X100V camera. I love this camera a lot. I've been kind of neglecting it sometimes and the new one just came out. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna have this in the camera bag right here that the get go. Sometimes it's kind of annoying to kind of have as a sling, hurts my neck sometimes. Having this on the everyday basis has definitely helped me kind of see other things in the light. So just carrying this on the everyday basis, wherever I go, whether it be the cafe, the city, or to my friend's house, kind of nice. At the top, there's a small little get, like zipper thing here, and you can just pull that out, and you have a little small pocket at the top axis. Nothing special here. This is just an old microfiber that I had from my old filters that I bought from Polo Pro, and it just kind of stuck inside. And honestly, so there are moments when I really want to have an extra battery sometimes, just for those unlikely situations, to be honest to you, but an extra battery from X100V. Side axis. Obviously, for a camera bag, you can definitely pull out your camera out of here. But for me specifically, using this as more of like the everyday camera, camera use slash everyday backpack, what I have here instead is my Nintendo Switch. This has come in the clutch a lot more than I thought. I don't play games too much often anymore, but having this available for me, when I'm really bored, when I'm in a cafe, when I'm waiting for someone, when I'm in my car, having my Nintendo Switch just, I've saved so much of my sanity so much. So definitely thank you. Honestly, I'm thanking the past Royce to just think of this and putting this in the bag and even just purchasing the Switch. Moving on to the back axis. So. What I love about camera backpacks is especially this whole entire back axis, like, you know, accessibility thing. You know, as you can see, everything from the top axis that you saw before, the side axis, is completely available if you open the back side. Multiple types of organization purposes with the dividers. You can do it however you want. I kind of kept it and moved things around in here specifically. What I love about Nomadic is definitely their side of organization. So there's definitely a lot of sections and like, like zippers and stuff. You can add miscellaneous things, you know, whatever you want in the back side. Now, with that being said, let's move on to the back side. Top left zipper right here. The pouch is the moment camera filter that I actually love to use on my X100V. I haven't used it in a while, but there are moments when I kind of want to be a little bit artsy fartsy. Sometimes I want to illuminate some things to make it a little bloomy. So it just kind of lives there just for those moments. Right side zipper right here, nothing too special. It's just a bunch of cables and a, like an actual block, just some USB-C cables and an Apple charger. Honestly, you never know if yourself or maybe your own friends haven't charged their phones and you kind of just need an extra, you know, juice throughout the day. It's just kind of nice to have and it just lives there and just a dedicated pocket for me. Moving on to the bigger pocket. 
Now, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you've probably seen this in many other bags that I've carried. Right here, I always carry a deck of cards. You probably been questioning, dude, you have your camera, you got your Nintendo Switch, you have your phone. Why the hell do you need a deck of cards? Well, honestly, sometimes I would just want to disconnect. There's some moments where I'm with my friends that, whether it be playing poker, blackjack, goldfish, or whatever card game you want to play, you know, it just, it does come in the clutch. And it definitely saves some sanity. So if you know me personally, I am pretty injury prone. And honestly, sometimes I nick myself with my knife, sometimes I get paper cuts, sometimes I honestly just hit myself against something and I scrape myself, and sometimes it gets annoying. For those moments, I have here the Pete's Power Life tin like medical kit thing. Honestly, it's just a small Altoids box thing where you can just have a couple of band-aids and stuff with this logo. Nothing too crazy. For those just in case moments, I don't want to be bleeding to death or something, so. Now let's move on to the main compartments. So moving kind of right to left from your perspective, right here, it's like a very simple Amazon thing. It just fits a bunch of medicine stuff, whether it be like Pepto-Bismol or, or like Tylenol or Advil. I may not use it sometimes, maybe it's for my friends, but honestly, for those unfortunate situations, maybe get food poisoning, it just lives there for those just in case moments. So right here, I got my small little EDC pouch. If you've been following my channel for quite some time, I absolutely love EDC. EDC is everyday carry. It's kind of those things you carry on the everyday basis, things that you don't think you might need, but definitely comes in the clutch probably. So right here, I personalized some patches as well. Have a notebook here outside, just as if I wanna add some notes and stuff, not my phone. But if I go inside the pouch, in no particular order, let's kind of pull them out. Big lighter. I'm not a smoker or anything, but there are moments when for some reason I need to light a fire, whether it be a campfire, whether it be a grill, and we don't have a lighter for some odd reason, this comes in the clutch. First piece, chapstick. It's winter time, chap lips, don't wanna stay like too dry or anything, need some chapstick. Personal favorite, this here is an external light. This is the Olight S2R Baton 2. Honestly guys, comes to the clutch when you don't want to use your flashlight on your phone or it's not bright enough or you want to like, you know, attach this to like your car hood or something. An external flashlight, trust me on this, it helps a lot. I'm not really sure why it's in here. This is just an extra microfiber. I don't even think this is that good to be honest with you, but I think I just kind of put this in here for those, you know, just in case moments when I'm moving this pouch like from backpack to backpack. Baby banter is a VV knife. Absolutely love this small little knife. Hey, for like a small little pouch, maybe I don't want to use my everyday carry knife in my pocket. Maybe someone's using it. I need to cut something. It kind of lives in the pouch. Small little pen. This is Pete's Pirate Life and Big Eye Design. It's a great little small quick pen that I actually love to use when I want to write something down. So sometimes you need a pen. Sometimes you need to write a check. Sometimes you need to write the tip on your receipt or something. Leatherman Wave Plus. Absolutely love this melody tool. Sometimes, to be honest with you, it's really annoying to kind of take out all the mini trinket things that are inside here. But what I really love to use it for are these pliers. Having this as part of the multi-tool type of occasion in this camera bag, you never know. And last but not least, Gerbery multi-tool. This is like a keychain multi-tool that I had in the past. Out of all these things, I don't have a pry tool and this has a pry kind of like functionality here. There's a bottle opener here and there's like a small little, I guess, screwdriver thing you can have as well, but Living having this in here comes to the clutch. Moving on to the side pocket here. Now, this is not something I actually ever need in this bag, to be honest with you. But there are moments when I kind of want to change the vibe of my X1R V right here and just change the strap to like the brown peak design version or maybe like the peak design wrist strap that I have. It just kind of lives there if I want to change the vibe. I have the peak design stuff in here anyway to change it on the go. So I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of nice. Last few items here, right here, is probably one of my favorite things that I actually love carrying just in case as well, is the Nomadic Collapsible Sling Bag. Now I mentioned this before in the past and previous other videos, I've used this like twice or maybe like once out of the month I've been using this camera bag. But honestly, it does kind of help in like some occasions, you know, sometimes I don't want to carry this whole entire backpack on the go. Maybe I want to leave this in my car, I want to leave it in my, in my friend's house or something and just bring my camera or just leave everything except you know, I guess maybe my switch or whatever. Having a sling does come in the clutch and it's just because it's collapsible, it doesn't take that much space in here anyway. Moving on to this part, if you've watched my previous vlog or just any of the vlogs in general, one thing I really hate when I'm out and about and stuff is rain. <laughs> For some reason, I have really bad experiences being in the rain. Rain going in my face, you know, my camera gear is getting wet. Sometimes I get a little worried. I've, I think I should learn better. So right here, I just kind of added a small little raincoat for my camera. I got this from JJC on Amazon. I think it's like eight bucks for like a pack of two. It's so simple. It's like, you can use a plastic bag. You literally just put your camera through here and just, I guess, lock it up right there with the whole bungee cord. Is this really worth the $8? Probably not. But is it worth saving your camera in the long run and just having it just in case? Hell yeah, it is. 
So 100%, you know, whether I need this now or later, or just for those just in case moments, it's gonna live here forever now. This here is a recent addition. I didn't think I needed this, but it actually is kind of nice to have when I'm out and about. This here is the Climate VC. This is an inflatable seat cushion. Now you're probably wondering why the hell I have this in here for like an everyday camera bag itself. To be honest with you, I'm not so sure either. You know, sometimes I'm in those moments when I don't want to sit on a wet bench out in the city or something, or I'm going to the city, or those moments when you're hiking, when you don't want to sit on a wet log, you don't want to have wet pants or whatever it may be. A seat cushion gives you the last lap. It does help a lot. I've only used it like once or twice, honestly, as well. But for those last moments when everyone's sitting for hours on end and you're the only one with the seat cushion, well, at least you get the last lap. Last but not least, an Altoid tin. It's not really because I have bad breath. I just use this in here just because there are moments when I'm bored and none of the things in my bag are working or something like that. And honestly, there are moments when I'm super hungry. This kind of just passes that moment of appetite as well. So really kind of also helps some creative juices and just kind of gets me through the day. Some final thoughts. In the end, would I recommend this bag? I would 100% say yes, I recommend this bag. Out of all the bags, I think this is one of my favorites out of all the Nomadic lines. It's a great everyday bag. It's a Goldilocks bag where it's like not too big, not too small. It's just the right size to fit all the things that I want to have, whether it be my mirrorless camera, whether it be my X100V, whether it be all the trinkets randomly. What's kind of nice is this, this kind of tripod sector. It's just not something I see commonly in a bag. It's just kind of cool to kind of see how Nomadic innovates their products. But if you're looking at this review to see whether you want to get the 18 liter versus the 25, honestly, in my personal opinion, I think it depends on your use. I think for me specifically, I would not bring this bag on my everyday adventures when I'm camping or whether I'm going like on a boat or something. It feels like it's not, not as water resistant as the 25 liter. Semi water resistant, I think, but not so much. There are some gaps here, I feel like, they're, that can kind of get water inside. Versus the 25, I brought it on the boats. I've gotten it super wet. It got it really dirty. I've dropped it multiple times. You know, there are moments where I'm like, this is, I'm pretty confident in the 25 liter. It has a lot of space. It's very vlog ready and friendly as well. This one's, I wouldn't say it's so vlog friendly to be honest with you. It's just a very slimmer down version. You can have, let's just like, just a photography bag like most other bags. Other than that, I think if you're looking for an everyday bag, then you're not doing the whole camping, rigorous, I'm gonna risk my life type of like a situation. This is a great bag. For the everyday occasions, for the hikes, whether it be like, you know, hanging out with your friends, you're going to a coffee shop. This fits all the needs in my personal opinion. Nomadic, you did a great job. I 100% recommend this bag. So with that being said, guys, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. It really helped my channel and this whole YouTube algorithm. Comment down below, guys. If you have any questions about this bag, you want me to do some comparisons and just fits on certain things in this here, like my mirrorless camera or like how many lenses or whatever, leave a comment down below. Let's have a discussion. I'll get to your comments as soon as I can and I'll make it happen for you. So with that being said, guys, if you like this type of stuff, you like proc reviews and you just want to join the journey, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and God bless. Peace. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.